y'all welcome back to adventuring with amanda thank you so much for being here if you are new to my channel welcome y'all look at where we are at we are back in quartzite fall 2023 season heading into winter it is officially time it's a little bit warm today about 82 degrees but there is a slight breeze and tomorrow we are expecting 70 Three. So it is going to be an awesome weekend to jump back in to quartzite season. Um, Winston and I arrived around noon and the first thing I did was went to Main Street to traverse the area and see what's new. Then I got to camp with Maddie. Um, so Maddie and I are here together. It's been about six weeks since we've camped, uh, just the two of us. So I look forward to spending time with him and catching up on life and everything else. But we are going to have a super relaxing time. While I'm here, I do also plan to visit a couple of my friends at La Posa South. But the goal is to just reintegrate into my favorite community and my favorite culture that is Quartzite. So in this video, I am going to show you my camp setup, my surroundings, and just talk a little bit about my feelings and what's going on um, as we head into November. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. Here is a time lapse of me setting up my camp. As you can see, the very first thing I did was open my hood. Since I have been driving and it is warm in there, I want to keep mice and critters out the very best I can. I also had to put on my hat because it is bright. I unlocked my rooftop box and I will get out the necessities that I need right away, including my sink, Winston's playpen, my rug, and my chair. I will also need my shower at some point, but I'm just going to leave it in there for now because I like to be as minimal as possible and just get things out based on when I need them. I have my new chair that I purchased from Amazon on Prime Day and Maddie decided he would come over to camp and check it out. He definitely needs a new chair. I gave him my old one, which was the cheapy Walmart version of this one but it broke and it's not good so he was checking out the chair to see how nice it is. I want to get out my rug right away so I can put everything on top of it and Winston needs a nice cozy space for his feet. The breeze was kind of picking up my rug like a kite, but it was also allowing me to shake the dust off of it since I did use it in Sierra Vista and I haven't cleaned it since. Maddie also went to my trunk so he could give Winston a treat. The mice got into the treats that Maddie keeps in his van for Winston, so I brought plenty for Maddie to restock, but he won't be putting any in his van until he figures out that mouse problem, which is very unfortunate. I put the ramp back up for Winston and put my chair in place. I, of course, will get my water table set up, but the first thing I want to do is put up Winston's playpen now that I have the rug just where I want it. The playpen will be in the shade and I shift it based on where the shade is throughout the day. Hey kiddo, you happy to be here? <laughs> Good boy. As you can see by the door on Winston's playpen, there is a, a slight breeze. It's making it so nice. Quartzite is quiet. Main Street was dead. And that's what I really like about getting here at the end of October. I get to enjoy Q without the chaotic part. <laughs> it gets very chaotic at the end of December going into January. So right now I just get to enjoy while wow, there's not many people on the street. It's nice to be able to do things in town without overcrowding. So the first thing I did was set up my rug today and um, I always uh, face my van away from the sun. So when the sun is in the west, I like to have my main door facing the other way. That way I can have shade 
um, on you know warmer sunny days like this so it's very important that we have shade and I do have the awning but this is plenty of shade for Winston and I to sit in so typically you will always see my van facing west or northwest in this case because tomorrow we are supposed to have some winds so I did park my van with the wind and right now I just have water jugs uh, on my rug, but I will get the rest set up and I have my hood open. If you guys watch Maddie's channel, you will, you probably know that he's had a mouse problem. There's been a mouse in his van for several days. So I opened up my hood and I will be spraying my Grandpa Gus mouse repellent in there when it cools down a little bit more. I also have a strobe light ready for tonight, but I've never had a mouse in my van. Uh, I've been using this for about two years, but knock on wood. Um, something else that I'm going to be very weary of is there are still some, it's still warm enough to have rattlesnakes out. So I'm keeping a very close eye on Winston um, and making sure that we are steering clear of any potential danger noodle activity. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish getting set up. Although, I mean, there's there's not much more for me to do, to be honest with you, except for like put my water table together and stuff. But this is where we're at and this is what we're doing. I am officially using my new chair for camping for the first time. It arrived at my house when I was in Sierra Vista with my friends, so I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. But I am really stoked. It is so comfortable and it's my color. So I had to make my campsite extra juicy. It's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. So I did put out my Van Powers 200 watt solar panel. And since my VTOLMAN was automatically shutting off after two hours every night uh, and then turning off my fridge, I am back to using my Van Powers. Um, unit it's not my favorite but hey it doesn't shut off and i don't have any other issues with it the solar plug can be a little bit finicky but whatever i'd rather deal with that than it turning off every night so i am using my set power fridge again i did test out the other one that i have last week just to verify it wasn't a fridge issue and it's not it was a vitamin issue so i'm using that oh and also got my new toy I got a drone this is a Ruko drone it comes in this really awesome case my brother-in-law helped me set it up the other day it is so much fun this is a $500 drone but oh my god it's amazing I can't wait to show you guys I brought it because we have lots of empty space I still am learning to fly it um, but I think that Maddie will really have fun with it as well. So I look forward to playing with it. I need to put some sunscreen on my face because I wanted to take off my hat for a little bit. I wear the 100 Bear Republic SPF uh, from Target. My nose gets pretty burnt and um, so does my neck. Those are like the two areas that get the most that get the most sun so i really like getting here bef before peak season in quartzite because when you get here at the end of october early november there are not a lot of people here it is very quiet most of the traffic is local traffic people stopping through from California and the very few people who are already here uh, for the season. So it's, if you're interested in quartzite and you're just not sure, I do enjoy getting here before everybody else does because it's just a little more enjoyable when there aren't so many people sometimes. I do like the community and other people being around, but I like to kind of get settled into the area when it's quiet. It's just a it's just a really good way to get into the season. So um so yeah. Now 
I also want to show you just a little something that my sister got me. Cause my sister, she spoils the shit out of me, y'all. She does. She's 36. I'm 35. We're 17 months uh, apart. My sister and I are extremely different human beings. We are, we are literally opposite ends of the spectrum. But she and my mom, my biggest cheerleaders. Like my sister, she's so supportive of my van life. She loves it. And so she loves to get me gifts um, when she does so much traveling, international. She just does so much traveling. She recently got me, I, I showed a few videos back. I don't even remember when it was. I was up in Munns Park, this little light up uh, jar with a cork on the top. It has dried flowers in it and fairy lights. She got me that from Switzerland for the van. She only likes to get me things that fit in the van. She knows me. But she just got me this beautiful crystal. It's a puppy dog because she knows I collect my crystals and my gems. And it's from a place called uh, Earth Odyssey in New Orleans. And this is Adventurine. And it is a good luck stone that brings wealth and stimulates creativity. So I was like, oh, I could use that. I would love to stimulate wealth and my creativity. So she got me that. I'm very excited about it. Very special. She just, she always gets me the most special, unique items for my van. Um, so I have that to add to my collection while I am here in Kew. I still had a bunch of pine straw on my rug from when we were up in Munns Park. I got out my broom to clean it off and I thought this would be a great time to remind you that this rug is a 9 by 12 RV rug and I did purchase it out here in Quartzsite. I purchased it from Donna and Carl. They own a rug vendor right next to the Horny Toad on Main Street. It's between the Horny Toad and Woodstock Fire, or Firewood. So you can get all sorts of rugs there. This one was $65, but it has lasted me now a year. And as you can see, this is pretty much what the ground looks like all over Quartzsite. It's very rocky. So the reason I got a 9 by 12 was to give Winston plenty of space to play and relax, put his playpen. He's really enjoying this breeze right now. But that's the main reason I got such a big rug. I just wanted to give Winston lots of comfort. As I wrap up this video, I want to say that I will be doing a video on how to prepare for camping in a quartzite. I know that it is very, very different. And there are some things that I want to point out that I think will be helpful to you if you are going to come here for the first time. One of those things is buying the Grandpa Gus Potent Mouse Repellent. You can buy it in packages that you can place in your rig or you can buy the spray. I've never had a problem with mice. It's been two years I've been using this, so I highly recommend picking it up. There is a link uh, in the description in my Amazon list to the Grandpa Gus repellent, but I will also pin it to the comments of this video because I think that it is very, very important. And don't use it sparingly. Use as much as you need, as often as you need, especially if you have a big rig or a van like Maddie's where it's much easier for a mouse to get into your engine bay and your van. I will wrap it up here. I know it was a longer one because we are starting our season, but I look so forward to sharing more with you guys in the coming days. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you next time.